given us some answers. I got nothing to say to you. Well, that's fine. You can focus on me then. What the hell were you thinking coming to this house last night? And what were you thinking letting him do that? Look, don't blame Mara, okay? We each went to the lighthouse. She didn't know I was going to be there. I, I was bleeding. I... Well, that happens when you get shot. She thought I was dying. She brought me here. Oh, I see. So if you're going to bleed to death, you want to do it in my daughter's bed. Dad, he needed help. W what happened to calling 911? That's what everybody else in this room would have done, Mara. I couldn't. I, I didn't understand why he'd been shot, and I was afraid to call the police because I was afraid that the guy was still following him. Okay, so you brought him back here where you and your mom and your brother could have all been caught in the crossfire. You put three people's lives in danger. This was your choice Josh. because you were trying to save your own Josh, life. Josh, Josh, take it easy, okay? I know you want a piece of him. But you know what? You're going to have to get in line because Harley and I get the first shot. You know, we've got a dead guy over at the Bowers. We had a man down here, and we still have no idea where your cousin is. Which means you have a lot of explaining to do, starting right now. Someone put a hit out on Danny. Yeah, we know that. The question is who. So, look, Danny wanted to leave the business so he could start a life with his wife and kid. I guess somebody thought he was a threat. Somebody meaning the other families? Look, who's telling the story, me or you? <sighs> this guy. So I went <clears throat> to the Bowers to warn Danny. Okay, sure enough, the shooters are in the bushes, and I grabbed Danny, and we, we got the hell out of there. Great, so that uh, means that you left Michelle and the baby defenseless. There, there's a good move. It was on Danny, not Michelle. And so on the way to the car from the house, they fired, and I got clipped. I don't suppose you shot back here, huh? I don't remember. Okay, then so, what happened? What no, well, hold on one second. Let, let, let's go back for a second here. So, who's the stiff that we found at the Bowers? Stiff? I, I don't know. Maybe one of the shooters. I see. And uh, did you maybe want to take a guess as to how they died? Maybe his buddy shot him. I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure that was it. Okay, after you and Danny navigated your way safely to the car, what happened next? I drove like Mario Andretti. What do you think? And then the other shooter just happened to follow you. Yeah, till, till I lost him. Right, then I drove straight to the bus station, waited till Danny got his ticket, and then made sure he got safely on the bus. The bus to where? Cincinnati. That's easy enough. I'll check it out. By that point, I knew I was hit. I started bleeding, and I, I was passing out, so I knew I had to go somewhere safe. I couldn't go to Michelle's because then I put her in harm's way, so I went to the lighthouse. Why didn't you go to your grandmother's? Same reason I didn't go to my brother Ray's. I would have, you know, put the heat on them. Well, it's too bad you didn't care about this family as much. Josh, please. Well, let's, let's go back to the lighthouse, then what? Mara was there, you know the rest. Tony, who were the shooters? i never seen them before. You know what she means, Santos. Who were they working for? Look, maybe I can drop... David, hey! David, David, hey! David, hey! back off. Not now! What you need to be doing is getting him to the hospital. Calm down, Mar. We'll get him checked uh, out. Don't worry about it. And we'll take this young man to the station, and we'll finish all of this. Oh, I gotta, I gotta see Michelle first, though. Why? Because I gotta make sure she's all right. She's my family, right? I gotta tell her Danny got away. All right, fine. We'll take you to see Michelle, so we can compare both stories, see who's telling the truth. All right? Let's go. Easy, oh, easy. Shit. Good night, folks. We'll be in touch, okay? Take care. See you later. No, you won't. Let's go. Uh, are they gone? Yes. They're gone. It's just family now. Minus one. I'll be upstairs. Coward. I think that's a good idea, son. Well? Who wants to go first? Let me. I don't even know where to start, Mara. H how many times have you and me and your mom had this very same conversation, huh? How many times? Too many. Yes, too many times, Mara. So how many more times are we going to have it before you understand that trouble follows Tony Santos around? What can I do to make you understand that? You don't. 
I have to do anything. I get it. You get what, Mara? I get why you and Dad are so upset. You know, something terrible happened here last night. You were scared to death, and so was I, and you guys that think that it's Tony's fault. Well, that's because it is Tony's fault. Even though the whole reason I went to the lighthouse in the first place was to say goodbye to Tony in my head because I needed to get over him. We, we saw each other there. We were back together. I bring him over here. And like you said, trouble followed. And you think that that's because Tony's Tony. I understand your point of view. Probably for the first time. That's good. And I'm, I'm really sorry if I've caused you guys any pain or trouble. Mara, it's good. It is good. I mean, this, this is a good conversation, and it's a good start. I mean, for once, we're having a real conversation and not just yelling at each other. She still hasn't said she's going to stop seeing him. That's because I won't. Oh. I love Tony. And I want to be with him now more than ever. Mara... An armed man broke into this house last night and almost killed your mom. Do you understand that? And you just said that, that you wanted to get over Tony so you could move on. That was before. Because he kept pushing me away and he hurt, it hurt me so bad I couldn't bear it. But now I know why. It's because he knew that this whole thing was going down with Danny and he, and he was trying to keep me safe. <laughs> but he, he, he didn't keep you safe, did he, Mara? It's not Tony's fault that I was at the lighthouse. But it's his fault that you ended up here. Dad, he was out of his head from pain and loss of blood. What did you want me to do? Leave him there to die? Mara, li Can listen we just, to me now. This please just take a step back and calm down. I'm calm. There's nothing more to say. Tony spent the last few weeks doing everything he can, taking care of me. Not to mention Danny and Michelle. Maybe you guys can't respect him for that, but I can. And now that the danger is past, and there aren't any issues anymore, and I can see him again, I will. Where do you think you're going? You don't want to know. Mara, do not do this. Bud. Don't do Bud. this. Don't. Why not? Because she's got a point. I think this is one of those times we need to cut Mara some slack. That would be condoning her relationship with Tony. That would be condoning this uh, uh, irresponsible behavior. Joshua, she's, been... she's almost 18. We can't keep having the same fight. Well, we wouldn't have to if she would listen to us. Well, that's the point. Pretty soon she won't have to listen to us. Pretty soon she'll be able to do whatever she wants to do. You really want her to leave this house and move in with Tony? You want to lose that contact with her? Because if we keep pushing her, that's what'll happen. Let's be honest with each other. Mara did the only thing she could do last night. She couldn't just leave Tony in the lighthouse to bleed to death. She, she couldn't take him to the police. She couldn't take him to the hospital. I understand all that, and so do you. We, but we can rationalize this thing all we Joshua. want, but it's not... If Mara hadn't come downstairs when she did, if she hadn't have knocked that man out, I'd be dead right now. Can we please just let this one go? Reva. I mean, I don't know what I was doing. So stupid, coming down here, being all protective like some mama bear, thinking I could take on the world. And all I could do was stumble and Reva. bump into furniture and try to swing a lacrosse stick through the air. Okay, okay. He had a gun. <laughs> Great. Noah? Yeah, yeah, remember me? What's wrong? Nothing, nothing, but uh, driving to work, I heard something on the radio. Seems my fiance was attacked last night by an armed intruder, and she didn't even tell me. But I can see you managed to tell Josh. I'm sorry. I, I am. It, it just Excuse all happened. Excuse me. She called me because my daughter was involved. And when Mara's involved, I'm involved. So I noticed. And you always manage to make things worse. <laughs>